Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to the Farm Wolf. This is part three of my videos of baling, cutting, raking, baling hay. Today I'm going to be baling with a new idea, 486 round baler. This is a soft center core baler or an open chamber baler. Now what that means is some round balers have belts that go all around the rollers and when the hay gets picked up by the pickup reel out of the windrow it goes into the chamber and belts fit tight on top of the uh, hay that you just got raked in or picked up from the pickup reel the belts are tight on it after it gets built up so much the bale starts turning and it's got constant pressure on it and as the bale gets bigger the belts and the rollers move but they keep a constant tension on the bales and you can tell that type of bale when you look at them they just look like a spiral a soft center core or an open chamber baler the belts are just they're in this configuration all the time they don't move when you put the hay into the baler it starts turning around and it flops around and then as the bale gets bigger that's when it starts tightening up the bale gets tighter the outside of the bale will get tight and you can tell if it's a soft center core or an open chamber bale by the side of it, it will have kind of a star pattern. It's kind of a goofy looking shape until you get to the outside and it's got that spiral shape. This is the head. You pull this pin here. Well, actually you raise it up. I don't know if I can do this one handed or not. Pull the pin and you can drop Drop the head to the ground. Sorry about the shadow there. The teeth here, when the baler's running, they go this direction. They pull the hay up out of the windrow. It goes up inside into the chamber, and that's where it starts spinning and making the bale. This uh, baler has a monitor on it, which is in the cab of the tractor. It has a buzzer, which a buzzer and a light that goes off and lets you know when the bale is ready to be tied off. On this particular baler, I have to ignore that buzzer and light because if I kick it out when it goes off, the bale is not heavy enough, it's not tight. So I have to watch my tractor and my tractor RPMs. When my tractor bogs down around two or 300 RPMs, I know it's time to tie the bale off. This baler has an electric tie, which is what these arms are for. String comes out goes through these tubes, comes down. When you hit an electric button on the monitor, it allows these arms to come down. The twine goes down to the hay. I usually pull up, grab some hay to catch the strings. Starts wrapping around the baler. It starts from the center and goes out. I usually come back in and I go out again. I bring it back up, it cuts it, I kick it out. This baler is a thousand RPM. I don't have the uh, other end of the drive shaft right now it's in my barn this is the drive shaft goes to a gearbox it runs everything it has several chains bearings this part right here is the tailgate when i get the bale made i'll open the tailgate it'll automatically spit the bale out this is a back side of the baler and the other side
way there's no chance to get my gate caught on the bale that I just kicked out. star pattern that I was talking about on these open chamber balers. And it makes a 6x6 six six bale. You can see it makes a pretty, pretty tall bale. What I try to do is try to put the inside of the tire to the inside of the windrow. And I'll weave back and forth just very little. That's how I try to keep my bale shape I guess you could say. And that's my buzzer that I have to ignore because it's not right. I'm bailing in low fourth. When I first started I was bailing in low third. But I'm in thinner step. Well actually when I was in the thicker step I was bailing in low fourth. I kind of just wanted to get this done. I haven't had any better luck in low third than I have low fourth. Unless I'm in really, really thick hay, then I'll go a little slower. But right now I'm in high fourth and I'm in uh, direct drive on the TA.
the day. There it is. That's the last bale being tied off. enjoyed this video i hope maybe you learned something maybe i was able to teach you something you didn't know um there's a lot of stuff in my video that i got to thinking about and i probably didn't cover because i've got it up here but when it comes to putting it on film i think about it and I, I probably didn't put a lot of stuff in so if you have any questions comments go ahead and put them in the comment section i'll answer them you know if there's something that you're curious about that i didn't answer and I wanted to cover a couple things. Um, one of the video shots that I took when I dumped the bale out the back of the baler, my baler is kind of making a clunking noise. And I wanted everybody to know if you hear that, a lot of people are going to think that's a bearing. I thought that. I've had this baler for about 12 years. It's done it ever since I've had it. I've checked all the bearings. Everything's tight. I don't know what's making that noise. If you have any ideas, feel free to put them in the comment section. Also, if you watch the first part of this series, there, there's going to be three videos. When I cut the hay, when I was raking it, and then turned my little boy loose on the rake, and then this video when I bailed it. My conditioner, I've noticed it makes a clanging noise also, and it just does it periodically. Same thing, I got the baler and the conditioner at the same time, had them both 12 years, and I, to this day, don't know what makes the clanging noise on my hay conditioner. So if you get any ideas on that, let me know. I've, the same thing, I've checked all the bearings, everything's tight. So it's one of those weird mysteries. Hope you liked the video. This is the Farm Wolf. Thank you for being here, and I'm Mike. Have a good day.